Wow. 114 degrees in Europe. Those are Saudi Arabia temperatures. <laughs> Damn. So this came out in the Express July 5th, 2019. Heat wave Europe is burning at 114 degrees in these terrifying NASA satellite scans. Wow. I mean, I knew it was hot, but damn, that is just absolutely crazy. 114 degrees? Heat wave temperatures across Europe have peaked above 104 Fahrenheit, prompting widespread safety concerns in France. Temperatures hit a new high on Friday, June 28th, um, at a sweltering 114.6 Fahrenheit in the village. Okay, so wait a minute. Previous temperature, 111 in 2003. That is, woo, that's hard to believe those temperatures are that high in Europe. That's not the norm. I lived in Europe for a while. And temperatures normally don't go up that high in the summer. In fact, they have, their summers are usually a lot cooler than the ones we have here in the U.S., NASA said Europe massive heat wave is on its way out and it's leaving a slew of broken temperature records in its wake. Many countries were gripped by temperatures above 104 Fahrenheit between June 26 and June 30th, according to the World uh, Meteorologist Organization, June 2019 was really, yeah, they said it was the hot, hottest on record ever for the continent. But when you look at these temperatures, you can see how. It's Paris. Yeah, the map looks very red. Rome, Madrid. Wow. Paris, Milan. Okay, so the NASA instrument measures our planet surface temperatures at different times of the day from the International Space Station. In this case, NASA's costless photograph, Paris in France, Madrid in Spain, and the Italy city of Rome and Milan. All four populated areas are marked in a crimson red. Temperatures peaking well above 68 degrees. The higher temperatures can be attributed to the presence of more heat absorbent materials such as concrete and asphalt. Wow. Do you know, I think, I don't think asphalt should be used at all. You know, I'm just saying just from my observation, I don't think that is something that should be used at all. It's always cracking and breaking apart. And I think it's because it really shouldn't be there. I'm just saying. Okay, so Rome, Paris, Madrid, and Milan during the mornings of June 27th and tw uh, June 28th, they did a, a surface photo. And the images, the hotter temperatures appear in red and cooler temperatures appear in blue. Let me go back to that map. All right. So they're showing you. Yeah, it, it seems like there's more red areas than blue. Wow. Yeah, they have no choice but to get in water. You know, unlike America, when you go over to Europe, people don't have air conditioning. 
and and it, they don't have it because Europe is a much cooler place than over here in America. America actually our temperatures are hotter than Europe. So because you know the climate is always a lot milder even in the summer people just didn't bother getting air conditionings. But it seems like over the past few years, I've been watching the temperatures. They've been going through some pretty hot temperatures. Like over the last three to five years, they're not having mild summers anymore. They used to have them, but they don't have them anymore. Uh, Y'all might want to change your mind on those air conditionings. So that's why you see when you go over to Europe, when it gets really hot, people tend to get out of their houses and just go outside. And that's why you'll see so many people waiting to get into a pool or um, standing in line to, you know, get into whatever area where they can cool off. They do that all the time because it's either that or you're going to just suffocating your house with no kind of air conditioning unit. Now they got fans. When I was over there, I, I saw a lot of people with fans, but a, a C and an air conditioning unit, you don't see that. You really don't. You would be shocked if you went over there. <laughs> if you buy a house in Europe, just anticipate that that house comes with no air at all. You're not going to have no central air over there. Okay. So, you know, they're saying the usual things like if you, you know, elderly people, children, pets, you want to get them out um, and check on them. And also people that have disabilities, you want to check on them. It's the common sense thing. But... This is why you see them all crowding into these kind of areas right here. This is literally the only way they can cool down. There's no other way. So, but wow, 114 degrees. You would think that was somewhere out in the Middle East and not Europe. But ladies and gentlemen, everything is heating up. I mean, look, for the last two weeks where I am, we went through a heat wave. Um, the week before, we had four days in a row in the 90s, and we had almost six days in a row of the 90s. And they're always changing, too. Like, we were only supposed to be in the 90s until Friday, but they start changing. And, and Saturday, we were in the 90s, and, you know, you they'll say, oh, it'll be 87 tomorrow, and then you wake up and they change that to 90 or 92 or 93. So it's hot all over. And anytime you see 90 degrees in Alaska, Woo, you know the climate is changing. Alaska don't hardly get that way. On, you know, on a normal basis, they are nowhere near 90. I was looking at their temperature. The average temperature in the summer is the lower, is the, I'm sorry, is the upper 60s and 70s. That is usually their summers. When you start talking about 80s and 90s, that's smoldering for Alaska. That is not the norm. You know, they'll go up in the 70s, 75, but usually that's around where they linger throughout the summer. But I mean, I, I mean Alaska temperatures right now are no different <laughs> than temperatures that we see on the East Coast. So y'all, it's a lot of things changing on this earth. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear about global warming, but I can tell you there's something definitely going on when you can see 114 degrees in Europe and 90 degrees in Alaska. Something is definitely going on. <laughs> this is not the norm. 
But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.